Hello Van Fam and welcome to today's episode. Today is really exciting. This is a mom and baby only road trip from Durango, Colorado back to Scottsdale in our dream machine, Helen. We are so excited to have her back. Maya is running around the house and just about ready for her first nap. So I have timed our departure for her first nap. I just wanted to show you, I've got it all organized up front for a successful drive. We've got her seat ready, a bottle, her sound machine, pacifiers, uh, her little snuggie that she sleeps with. And I've got my water and a snack ready to go. And I don't really know how it's gonna go, but our first stop is going to be the Bisti National, or I mean, Wildlife, Bisti Badlands it's kind of called. And that should be when she wakes up, fingers crossed. And then we'll have a big hike and play. And then um, we'll carry on and see where we get tonight. So come along with us as we go on this journey. Should be pretty fun, and I don't know how tonight is gonna go sleeping in the van, but we'll see. Just hitting the road and saying goodbye. You ready? Go see Dada's tomorrow? You say Dada? You say Dada? wilderness I'll have to get that name for you <laughs> this is the Asli uh, Sipa trail I'm out of breath and there's a couple of cars here which I'm excited about because um, you know we're not alone but we are out in the middle of nowhere I'm gonna give Mooney a bottle put her in a little backpack and we're gonna go for a hike what do you think baby she's excited dry enough because it's like just complete dirt and B we don't have any rain protection so wish us luck and we go check it out go in the elements girl get her hat on it's a little chillier than I expected there we go girly mama's hat on Maybe this will keep some rain off of us. I put a towel in the backpack. That's probably gonna be useless, but we'll see. I think it's only like a two mile hike, so it's nothing major. Um, just a little colder than we expected, isn't it, girl? So, 
starting to get a little worried about the rain on the muddy road. This is cool, but we might need to turn around soon and get out of here, unfortunately. Um, I told myself I would just go until it doesn't make sense. And it wasn't meant to rain this much at all. So, I don't know. There are other people here in case we're in strife. But they might be in strife as well. Mexico and I'm not so sure about leaving the van by itself but there's a hiking trail that I found. May is boycotting her bottle. Baba. Baba? Because I flew we didn't have a high chair so feeding her on this trip is going to be a little tricky. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Right now she's just crawling around the ground. I found my heart, I found my heart again You were standing there, you bravely led me in Okay, we're gonna go hike here a bit and then we're gonna go hike the trail or something like that I don't even know, I've never heard of it But, some mud, gotta get her in the outside Let's do it It's hard to be, it's hard to be this real We can play song dancing to it all night long with you i feel with you i feel something it's an animal it's probably a crow but it's kind of weird because there's this huge like canyon with all these awesome rock formations a huge parking lot and helen is the only one down there people left there were some strange people before but look at this here i don't know if we're going there it is i don't know if we're going that away or just another way but we're going to pyramid rock i think we're going up there always guiding me to where my words are true i've waited a million years before I do it all again just to make sure Yeah, it's hard to be It's hard to be this real We can play our favorite song Dancing to it all night long With you I feel With you I feel something Cause we're both 
first summit. But very special to be up here with her indeed. We made it. I wanted to make it by six so that we could make sure and be down by sunset. And then we've all made it just to this rock right here. So we're gonna get up there. We just ran down so that we could get back in time to get a good parking space for the night and make Mooney some dinner and get her kind of set up. I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna sleep tonight. And I've got like an hour or so before we start getting her ready for bed. So I'm gonna get started on dinner. Which is a box of macaroni and cheese. But I'm not quite that fancy. So this is Maya's high chair for right now because she was crawling all over the ground and getting all sorts of food in her mouth. I mean like hair and dirt and rocks from our shoes. I forgot to get milk and butter for the mac and cheese so it's pretty subpar but I think she'll eat it. And I will too. Okay, so since it's just Mooney and I, I'm actually going to put up the fence on the other side of the bed. And then put Mooney towards the back and then I will sleep up here. And I don't know what to do with her while I do it, so I'm just going to try and do it while holding her. Bedtime routine. What do you think, Maya? She's ready. I'm driving in my car. Good morning, Ban Fam. You guys, Maya did actually really good last night. She was pretty excited to be sleeping in the van, so it took a little bit to fall asleep. But she fell asleep and then only woke up once and just needed some help falling back asleep but not upset she was just excited and kind of wanted to play there's frost on the windshield we were i felt we were warm last night but it's chilly this morning so i want to show you guys i actually ended up moving the van um because it started to rain last night and we were on really slippery mud and i didn't want to get stuck because i didn't know how much it was going to rain and I was afraid that they were going to uh, come knock on our door and ask us to leave. And that wouldn't have been very fun to get up and put Mooney in her seatbelt, wake her up and blah, blah, blah. So we are just in a casino parking lot. And there was a lot more service for our phone in case, I don't know, anything should have happened. But I want to show you this. That's what we climbed last night. Isn't that beautiful, Mooney? Are you ready for a baba? Can you say baba? Baba? Are you being shy? mice are sneaky and smart is that you just fill your gray water bucket with all the disgusting food scraps and everything which you would normally anyways and I just left it for a while and put more gross stuff in there like a yogurt container anyway we caught a mouse last night and I hate to kill an animal but he could wreck all of our wiring so it's a total nightmare to have a mouse in your van 
we got one i don't know how many more there are but we're gonna keep trying Whew, so i've cleaned up the van and now we're going to get dressed and get ready and probably hit the road maya is a bit fussy i think she might be teething or something so we'll just kind of see what we can do to make her happy hi baby are you ready to get dressed Oh my gosh, okay, update on the mouse. I dumped him out into this parking lot and I was going to clean him up and take him to the field. And it looks like an animal has got him. He's gone, he's gone, Mooney. I don't know what kind of animals are here. That made me kind of nervous. I wonder what it could be. Perhaps a coyote or a fox or another rodent, I don't know. Nine and nine. It's gone. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all along. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. Okay, we are here at Petrified Forest National Park, right on our way home. It's beautiful. We are definitely the youngest people here. Um, I don't know how many people come here. I think it's kind of out of the way and it's not like the, the most popular national park, but it's beautiful. Don't look before you leave. What you give, you get to keep. So long, farewell. area of the Petride Forest National Park and it's super beautiful. What's so cool is this little hike, it's like a mile, something short, leads right down into this like little forest, uh, mountain forest, I don't know. And it's really cool. So we are getting up close and personal and Gurley's loving it while she's eating beach.